Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Before starting my video, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do and do not forget to turn on notifications as I'm sharing everyday great content for you. Alright, in this video we're going to talk about inner join, left right join and full join guys. If you remember pre our previous lessons, we made um, inner join. We have we had a quick look how is it is working. Now we I'm going to show you what is the logic behind merging tables and how we able to do it with um, with another join types. Okay, to do that, let's continue. Let's open our database first, and I'm going to create another tables because if I use our existing relational tables it's going it's not going to it's not going to help you to understand what the best way because if you would like to do uh, if we would like to use um merging table process it doesn't matter they are they have relation or not so i'm going to create new tables first let's create new query perfect we are in DB student exam. Let's say create table. Let's say table one or um first table. Let's say first table. Yeah. ID integers. I'm going to create quickly identity. Oops. Increase one by one. Let's say a title. Um, word charge. Twenty five. So function five is created. Let's say second table. Function five. And let's say third table. Function five. Perfect. Let's make a command. Refresh our tables. We got first, second, and third table. Perfect. Let's insert some data. Insert into first table. This is my column values is going to be let's I'm going to use just numbers let's say 10 uh, it's going to be title right 10 edit let's say 11 edit let's say 12 edit 13 and 14 perfect we add five data to first table and I'm going to add some data to the other tables let's say second now I'm going to add some string value test function 5 yep test 2 test 3 test 4 Test 5. Oops, sorry. Test 5. Perfect. And let's say third table. I'm going to use. Maybe I'm, I may not need a third table. Let's leave it like that for the third one. Make this section is command line. Let's refresh it. Let's have a look at our result now select start from first table as you can see 10 11 12 13 and 14 let's see second table function 5 test test 2 3 4 and 5 
perfect lovely it seems everything quite nice now I'm going to merge those two tables using their IDs I'm going to use inner join TB um, table oh, sorry first table on second table dot id must be equal first table dot id let's function five as you can see two table is merged according to their ids so let's come to the um, tables and delete some data manually to make it quickly first table or let's make it command line let's delete from first table where ID 3 function 5 number 3 is gone let's say um, second table number 4 ok delete operation has been done let's control C now you're going to understand what I'm trying to do I'm going to show you in our join result again as you can see we have 1 2 5 what does that mean guys I deleted 3 from second uh, first table and 4 from um, sorry 3 gone from first and 4 gone from second table so why we have 1 2 5 let me show you I'm going to get a print section from here right now let's use this section the thing is the thing is guys you can imagine this is our first table let's change the color this is our second table perfect now let's have a look our first table now to do that so let's have a look second table we have one two three and five one two five three let's have a look first table at the top 200 one two four five one two five and let's make it red to four okay it means if you use an inner join the merging process always and always about common and common um, it's about all common data four and three just belong to their own tables they are not same with the other one so always in join brought you brings you the shared um, data okay perfect I assume you understand how it's working what if I use left join or right join now we're going to see left right and full join as well okay I'm going to copy this section let's function 5 again let's keep it here this is um, inner join I'm gonna create a new query here let's say left join so I guess you imagine the result once we run the left join let me show you now as you can see we received number three let's have a look number three coming from um, second table I guess let me have a look second table has must be the number three 
yep number three second table has a number three but there is no match in the first table so we have null result if you using left join so this is left join you can keep your mind you can keep it your mind left join is the left hand side all right right join is going to be right hand side so we i'm going to show you the right join right now function five as you can see we have number four here and it is showing us shared section plus belong to data coming from right side of our table okay number four the thing is if you use an inner join you only able to reach shared section if you using if you're using um, right or left join, whatever it is, they are showing you shared plus owned properties. This one or that one. Perfect. I assume you understand left, right, and everything. What if I used full join? I think um, you able to imagine what it might be let me copy my query and let's type here let's say full join function 5 as you can see we have both number 3 and number f uh, which one is that yeah number 3 and number 4 yeah number 4 here number 3 here perfect but the uh, as you can see the matches are null you cannot match with the other table because we are doing we are forcing our tables to merge no matter what using full join all right so it is giving us whole merging result and they are considering shared section um just one time like this as you can see in one line perfect i assume you understand um inner join left join right join and full join uh i'm i didn't show this section in our relational tables because it might it may uh, it may you confuse a little bit let me show you why um it makes it might be a confusion let's come to the student table as you can see in our table we have city id right if i try to left join with the city id or right join whatever it is it doesn't matter we have we exactly have result with the cities right let me show you at the top 100 i'm going to add another city right now for example let's say um nottingham But I'm not using this city in students. So I have a Nottingham city in my database. But I didn't use this city in my students table. So I don't have any students coming from, from Nottingham. In this scenario, right? So what's going to happen now? Let's make those command line. Select. Start from dbl students inner join dbl cities on dbl students dot city id must be equal to dbl student sorry dbl cities id let's function five let's have a look now is there any nothing are you able to see now because we don't have any student coming from nothing if we force to see 
um, left join all students we we able to see again the same data because we don't have any data doesn't include a city because we all of data have to have a city information so always and always if you using tbs students here if you use a left join inner join and left join will be show you the same results and for a person like a beginner it makes you confusing okay it makes really bad confusion that's why i show you in the first and without relation table if i say right join you will see the differences right now we have a nottingham city but there is no student with it and full join is going to be same as well oops function five I created those for the second and third table to exactly try to teach you what they are for. But of course, be able to use those uh, merging process for the relational tables. Okay, I assume you understand how we are using, why we are using, and what is the logic behind those merging um, process. Uh, we have another merging. A small merging um, process let me show you again we call this union let me show you how it's working select star from first table function 5 and let's say select star from um, let's say TBL cities I'm going to use something different function 5 Let's try to merge them and see the results again. But this time I'm going to use union. I'm going to F5. As you can see, the two day table merge and it become one. ID and title. Why it's using ID and title? Because we use in first table. What if I use TBL cities and second table it's going to be id and cities and these are the results i assume you understand of course this um example not applicable for the real life but i would like to show you how union is working for now all right let's make this command line again uh, in this lesson these are um, I'm going to finish this lesson, I think, because um, this is uh, this lesson is going to cover merging process. Let's save our file, MSSQL, query list for, let's say, merging, merging process let's save all right now i'm going to push them all my local repository let's check out to develop on branch do not forget add git all right let's get at dot it commit double dash m inner left right full join and union On. let's check out main and let's merge there to the main perfect all done okay guys um thank you very much watching my videos and if you 
crush the like button i will be really appreciated it really motivates me to create any content and if you have any questions do not hesitate drop comment below the video take care yourself bye bye